What is going on, YouTube? Sir Cole the Meek here, back with some more gameplay, uh, more commentary, not top lane this time. Uh, right now, we're doing a flex queue game, and we are playing some Aurelian Soul against Akshan. Um, pretty excited about this. Now that I finally have Diamond on that second account, I feel a lot less pressure playing the game, and I'm finally sitting back for a little bit here. I'm still going to play Trundle. Um, still going to post Trundle gameplays, but you might see a little bit of Aurelian Soul here. In the very near future. Um, although technically, as I'm recording this, the next two days... No, not the next two days, sorry. Tomorrow's video will also be Trundle. So this would be Wednesday's video. And it's Wednesday as I'm recording it. Um, it, it seems to say that Akshan's countered by Aurelian Soul, but I really don't know how. Uh, I'm obviously not the greatest Aurelian Soul player who's ever lived. I'm just learning the champion now. I've got about, let's see, what do we got? Uh, eight games. I think I won seven out of eight. I think I played one on another account, and I won that as well. So, like, eight out of nine. But, um, you know, I'm taking it with a grain of salt. We're, we're in flex queue. We're in norms. We're not taking it into ranked solo yet. Uh, so let's go through what we're doing with his kit, his E. This is one of the ways he gets Stardust, which is his passive that he... Uh, he, he stacks up rather so right now what I'm doing um, Akshan you are annoying I don't know if I've ever played against Akshan as a range champ um, yeah so basically if things die inside of your E it gives you stardust your E has an execute attached to it um, if, they, if things get below a certain amount of health oh, I missed that one what was that action? <laughs> Man's peeled off the other direction. Um, you don't really know what the, the point of that was. Oh, let's go. We got a little lucky there. Um, yeah, so if they go below the 5% health, or at least it starts at 5%, then they will die inside of E and give you Stardust. If you use your Q on a champion and your Q for every one second that they're standing in it um, every one second that they stand in it they give you two stardust right now our farm is pretty nice <clears throat> I guess the reason this is like not that bad of a lane for Aurelian Soul is he just has to sit back and avoid his Akchan's Q which you can do it by standing pretty far away it's like Akshan, who's their jungler, Warwick, so... It's not like the ganks are completely free for them. Uh, he is a bit mana-hungry, though, Aurelian Soul. Alright. My friend... <laughs> Volibear, you're gonna have to maybe ping that if you're gonna go in. Uh, not sure. Uh, but yeah, so Aurelian's a, a scaling champ, as I said, so... Um... Pretty much the plan is to just sit back and farm it out. I I have no clue when uh, Aurelian is like going to win an all-in or win a skirmish or win a 1v1. So I'm pretty much just playing him like a giant baby, sitting back as best I can and waiting until I've scaled up. Early, I, I don't think there's any reason to fight. It just... Not doesn't seem very worth it. Uh, Auto the wrong champion. I think there's a uh, vision there. I just want farm Vola Bear. All right, this is a little. What are you doing, brother? My man is literally like. I, I don't know what that was. That was... That was an interesting gank. I don't really have a ton of follow-up for ganks. Like... And again, I, I'm not a very strong champion currently. Like, I can't... I could actually maybe kill him, but I don't know where Warwick's at. If I knew... I might consider doing it, or might consider all inning this guy. 
Oh, actually. Let's go! Oof. Alright. Uh, I'm pretty lucky I got that. I didn't, uh... Didn't really think that I would, but, you know, hey. I guess sometimes it's okay to use your W, which is the little flight thing, to, uh, go forward. I think he just flashed, did he not? Um, I now can't remember. I got that wave shoved. Not quite. Okay, the cannon went under, so I don't think it's frozen. Alright, looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Uh, we're gonna build uh, this thingy. You know, the, the tier. There we go, if that's the word. Um, and we're just gonna build some AP. So we stack this uh, stuff up quicker. And we're gonna get back to lane. Uh, I don't think 39 stacks is per like anything to brag about right now. I don't really know what a great pace is for, for stacking on a soul. I mean, I think 10 per minute is like kind of decent. And Akshan is dead. So you do get five stacks for dropping the star on someone, or ulting, so <clears throat> ulting someone, which is nice. Um, I probably didn't need to use ult just then, but, you know, I, I already did that, so is what it is. Another thing about Aurelian Soul's ult, uh, so basically a giant star drops down or whatever, and it stuns people for a second and does a bunch of damage, but... Every time you stack, uh, every time you get 75 stacks, it empowers your ultimate. So, oh, oh man. They wasted no time. They wasted no time. Alright, this is a mistake by Akshan, ignoring this farm. Um, like, he's missing a lot of farm for, for that realm. The, like, to the point where I don't think his roam there was, was worth it, even a little bit. And I just fly away. Actually, if this dude could maybe open his eyes, that'd be good. Um, not sure what he was watching. But I think he just, like, kind of trolled me there and let me die. I, I don't understand that at all. I probably didn't use W in the correct way, but I don't think he should have stayed on the red buff. I think he was just trying to get six, but now he's going to die to Akshan, maybe? Oh, no, no, no. Now you should not chase, because he's ranged. All right. Worked out for him, but I'm a little... I don't know what he's doing. Like, he sees me walking mid. I'm just gonna use the, uh... I wonder if that gives me stacks using that, um... Dematerializer. Dematerializer, by the way, I didn't know this. Um, if you use it on a minion, it'll, it permanently increases your damage uh, against that type of minion. Which I was never aware of, because I don't uh, use it on any of my champions. But I think, I don't know if it stacks. That's the thing. So I've been using it just on the cannon minions because why would I not want to do more damage to those? But if it turns out that it only can be used one time, then it would make more sense to use one dematerializer on each type of minion. Solely for the fact that it would make my wave clear much better. Like if I'm not actually getting double the amount or... Um, I'm not getting double the amount for not much, but enough. double the amount. If I'm not getting triple the amount of, of extra damage for using this on a cannon three times, then I might as well split it one for each type of minion. All right, that's a terrible use of my E. All 
Alright, so this guy's just like hard shoving the wave out. Uh, I did not mean to stop my back. But I think I'm just going to back and get the Rylai's. And then fly back to lane. Alright, so I, I don't think I've gone through the entire kit here. I probably should maybe be bot right now. Alright. We've got Warwick coming down. No, 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 no. Guys, this is so bad. And this is what greed looks like. They just, <laughs> just ignoring my pings. And I might die here. Um, if someone's like spam pinging on your head, hey, get out of there. The best odor of business might be uh, getting out of there. I could maybe kill this Lux, but I'm going to fly back to mid because I don't think they would like it very much if I took their wave. I'll ward that there for them so they don't, uh, you know, die to a gank or something. Akshon, though, man, he keeps roaming, but that's not doing anything for him. Like, he might be getting assists, but that's not worth a lot of experience. Alright, so... Okay, killing the, the minion with the thing inside of your E does actually give you the extra stack, which is nice. I didn't... I thought I saw yesterday that it doesn't do that, but it very much does. That was really bad by me. And we laser beam the zigs. I'm just gonna laser him down. Need your help, brother. Can't just let me die like that. Akshan's definitely going to be coming around here. I don't know when or where, but he's there's no way he's going to ignore that. Or at least if I was him, I, I wouldn't ignore it. Alright, so... Uh, let me finish talking about what this uh, Stardust does for his kit when you start stacking and upgrade and whatnot. So, first off, um, your ult, when you upgrade it, it, uh, it becomes the Sky's Descend, which means that instead of just stunning people, the thing that you drop, or the ult that you drop, knocks people up for one second. Um... When you, and that's every 75. So every time you use your ult, you gotta stack up another 75, and then you get the bonus. Um, Oh, that's their whole team. Their whole team came down here for that. All I wanted was for him to not be in the dra- or to walk more into the dragon pit. So that I'd be able to, like, drop the ult from over the wall. But, anyways, uh, when your E- well, your E doesn't actually change when you upgrade. Your W- or no, does it? Sorry, it does. The execute range gets larger. Uh, your W, when you upgrade it, you fly further away, and then when you upgrade Q, um, it just does more max health damage, so everything scales. 
Not really worried about the score right now. Uh, especially since Akshan's a pretty low level. I don't know if Foley wants to do that. Maybe not. Alright, so... Let me just shove this wave out real quick. Seriously, though, every single ability that this guy has is just so, so satisfying and fun to use. Really? I don't... Ugh. Uh, the reason they're walking up is probably because Akshan is stealth maybe behind him. Laser beam! Rylas! Ooh, baby! Let's go. The reset on W is wild. I love this champion. This is my favorite mid laner for sure. Not even close. Like, you can't tell me there's a, a more fun mid laner in the game right now. This is nuts. And I think I get first tower. I definitely get first tower. And then if I need to run, I just press W and I fly away because I don't think Akshan's going to stop me. Or rather, I don't think he can stop me. That wasn't even my upgraded ult. The ult 2 also will eventually do like a shockwave to, I think, everyone on the map. The shockwave does get bigger, but... Um, I, I think it... Like, I've been hit by the shockwave from like top lane when the ult goes off here. It's pretty weird. Alright, we get that. We start building even more AP. See, now look how far I fly now when I press W. Also, you don't want to, like, be pressing multiple buttons when you do that. Oh, let's go. Kill the Warwick. I think he bleeds out now. He should. Well, that would be bad. Oh, no. No. Oh, wait. Darius is going to live. That's great. Well, that doesn't even matter. All right. Well, that's kind of annoying. He's hitting Surrender. And we just laser beam Akshan to death, get a nice shutdown. Hit him with the ult so we get the stacks. And then our W's back up. <laughs> I run into Warwick here, I just dip out. Matter of fact, I'm going to take this. I'm not going to kill... I don't think I'll... Oh wait, maybe I will. Two... Nah... And I just fly away. It's such a fun kit, man. I mean, I know he, like, had, like, a buff because he apparently needed one. And then they nerfed, like, they hotfix nerfed him right after or something. So I don't really know what the state of this champion is or if they're likely to nerf him again. I really hope they don't so I can kind of bask in this for a while. Alright, that's going to upgrade my ult. Slow him down. Said he can't catch up to me. I hope he doesn't run fast enough to catch up to me. He's still going for it. That's stupid, man. That was dumb. What an annoying champ that is. In some ways. Obviously, it wasn't really that big of a deal. I think the most annoying part of this is that he just revived his teammate. I don't remember who it was. I think it was Warwick, but... Just, like, mildly tilting, but nothing major. Who is he chasing? Oh, Lux, yeah. See, that was a good turnaround by him for not chasing the Lux. Okay. We could use some towers. Right now, the whole game has pretty much been a bloodbath, but... 
I definitely gotta get to this. I don't remember pressing E. Must have uh, barely touched it with my finger there. Warwick's got a lot of kills, but no farm. I think they've already got it by the time I get over there, so I'm just gonna move this way. Uh. So our ultimate, you can see the ability like looks different, and I have it next to my bar or my health bar here. It means it's all stacked up and ready to go. This is like everything Aurelian Soul should have been when they when they like when they first released him. This champ is beyond fun. And I will continue to continue to say that the entire game probably because I I genuinely have that much fun when I play it. Um they're going after uh, Akshan there. They're definitely going to kill him. I I don't see how he survives that. But he one shot um, Vayne. All right, so they're doing what they you know should do, which is try and hit me while I'm using my uh, while I'm standing still using my Q. They just didn't happen to hit me. And this is fine too. Aurelian is actually pretty decent at like holding waves. Uh, which, that's not a great example. There, there we go. See, like, they get pulled away from the tower. <laughs> mm. Mm. See, how's this gonna go for them? Oh, the, oh, it's Darius. That's right, he's, like, very strong. I'm gonna go over here instead of over there. Oh, no, Darius is maybe gonna die here. Yeah, he's dead. Action revived people. Oh, this is so bad, man. I'm for sure dead here. I was looking the wrong way. Oh, that's annoying. They're just unnecessarily up the other team's... Uh, rear end here like they don't have any reason to be where they are like that's too deep Darius just gave up what a 600 gold shutdown or something like that no shutdown that doesn't make sense Akshon has 10 kills man he was one in four he's getting kills because people are like letting them kill him oh no come on now man They're, they're letting Akshon kill them, not kill him. That... Now, at this point, though, I'm, I'm probably just going to put this up as a commentary anyway. Like, I'm not here. Let's let's not be fighting for no reason and dying. They, they still need me to be alive, and they still need me in the fights. Still have my ult stacked up, which is good. I'm gonna continue trying to get some stacks here. Decent chance that they're on Baron. No, they're not on Baron. If he loses this blue buff, okay. That's the void blue as well. Always being aware of your surroundings is uh, is what you want to be, because that's their entire... No, you're going in alone. I'm flying in. Alright, so I came in and I dropped the skies on him. Here's a, a nice thing about Aurelian Soul, is that I, like, melt Baron like it doesn't exist. I can sit, like, max range and watch this. Watch this. I have max rank Q, so this bit breath doesn't ever stop. I have blue buff. Look at this number going up. 1,200. 
1500, 1800, 2000. Oh, thank God. Lux actually could have stolen that. But yeah, I mean, this dude melts Baron like it's just crazy how much the, the damage, how much damage this guy does. Uh, I really want to, yeah, I don't want to stay now. I am afraid of uh, Mordekaiser, although I really shouldn't be. It's just that he got me with a very, very well-positioned ult that last time. But yeah, this this champion has been nothing short of incredibly fun every single game that I've played it in. Alright. He's definitely dead. Me and Darius keeping the death count low for this team. We're going to have to give that. No way we can contest. Okay, Darius, come on now. Don't be trying to steal that. Just give it. No reason not to just give it. I don't think this guy realizes I'd prefer that he not farm the wave that I'm in the middle of farming, so now I'm gonna go over here so that he can't farm this. Plus, I can get this turret. So, pop the Q. The Rylize, too, is what makes this uh, Q so good later in the game. People start getting hit by it and they just can't do anything. I'm just going to shove this out and leave. But look how much damage I did to that Mordekaiser. Without even really... Being near him. Only thing I'm scared... Okay, there's Warwick. If this guy walks up again, I'm going to kill him. He's... Alright, uh, that was kind of dangerous, but yeah. I think he stopped my ult? Not really sure what happened there, but... But I don't... Or maybe he... He might have pressed his R as my ult was coming down so that he didn't get hit by it. I think that's probably what it was. I could go over there, but I need to regen a little bit more with the red buff. I don't, I'm not really much of a split champion, so I should probably come over here now. Uh, all of that, by the way, I think when they stand inside of your E, yeah, they just gave me like 16 stacks for free. When enemies stand inside of your E, you gain, let me see, what is it? Um... Enemies within it, and each second an enemy champion is inside. So every second that a champion stands inside that, you get one Stardust. So I just had like three champions standing inside it for um, a while. Oh, the scaling on this champ, man. Just fly over here. Yeah, the cooldown, by the way, on your W is pretty long. 15 seconds is not the longest, but it's like 20 seconds early. If, uh, if you get like a kill or an assist while it's on cooldown, it refunds 90% of the cooldown, which means it doesn't really have a cooldown. I'm gonna wait before I take this blue buff. At least at five seconds, I'll start taking it. I'd rather the jungler be alive when I take it. Okay, now we all have a blue buff. Blue buff is great on this champ. Absolutely great. We can get Seekers just because why not get Azanyas? They have, uh... Well, they're not really heavy AD, but AD is consistent damage. I pressed W. I just flew from right here all the way to this tower. I mean, 
And it's because I have so many stacks. So you can see, uh, I now have over 200% increased distance on the W. I do 10% max health damage every second uh, that people get pressed, or my Q hits them. Uh, the ult has a 53% increased area. And then the E has a higher execute range right now. What's it at? So it's 5%. So it's at like almost 8% or something right now. Oh no, it's at 13.8% right now, that execute. The thing about Aurelian Soul compared to you know the champions I play is that positioning in teamfights is probably going to be very important. Oh. What? Okay, I guess the shockwave killed the Ziggs? I thought I was dead, man, but that's what I was talking about. The shockwave hits the other people. Like, all the way across the map, for whatever reason. Alright, so lucky me. I'm just gonna TP back. Alright, um... Uh... <laughs> no, I don't want to go up like that. Oh, Darius has been splitting the whole time. That explains why that felt so awkward. I gotta keep in mind, I do have my, uh... I probably melt this dragon. Actually... Not maybe, I for sure melt the dragon. Uh, Alright, I guess I need like another 400 gold to get uh, Zanya's, and then I think I'm at full build. I have no idea how good or bad this build is, by the way. I'm just kind of building items that seem to work, but I mean, I know Rylai's is a core item, Leandri's is a core item, I don't really know if the boots are core, and I think Seraph's Embrace for the mana is uh, as well. So let me guess, core, 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 maybe core, so then there's really only two items that I would have to wonder, like, are they actually core items, should I actually be buying them? I'll admit, champions that I don't have to think so much about, like, what to buy on them feel a lot nicer. <laughs> Okay, so we're definitely going to make our way towards Baron Pit. I'm flying almost to the end of my base now, with just pressing one W. Uh, I don't know, Foley. You don't have a ton of armor and health and stuff. Yeah, they are letting themselves get hit pretty hard by uh, that ability. If they were to run after me right now, they would they would regret that. I uh, yeah, I mean I I still have Zanya's, so that was a silly thing for him to do. I don't think he realizes he's got no MR, so I just melt him. Like an ice cream cone in the middle of the summer. I wish... I do wish that Red Buff healed me much faster. I'm not going near that uh, until I see them on the map somewhere. Can I hit it? Oh man, I can hit Baron from this far away. Oh my god. That's nuts. Okay, he went for me. That's fine. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get this and I'm gonna stack it up too. Mm. Alright, cool. I'm not there. You guys do not fight without me. That is a very bad idea. Did he jump in? No, okay. Ooh, thought he jumped in. <laughs> the 
<laughs> this champ, man. So fun. I love it. My ult is almost stacked. I need 22 more stacks. We need to just group here. Um, I don't think they can beat us in a 5v5. a waste of my ult. I think I got some stacks off it, which is nice, but certainly a waste. silly of them. I have my ult in however many seconds. Um, So it looks like we are ending the game here. It's going to be a GG well played. We're going to hit the flash at the end. And, oh! Golden Dragon. GG. And that's a GG well played. Man, I felt like I was rambling a lot in that commentary. But hey, you know what? We got to do not just Trundle gameplay. Aurelian Soul is a super fun champ. Um... And, uh, yeah, not much more to say. Let's check out the damage meters. Not sure how good or bad they were. This is was a flex queue, by the way. Uh, Alright, so it looks like we did the most damage in uh, on the team. Second most in the game to Akshan, but it doesn't matter. Really good game there. Really good game. How many points did we get? 1118. Sick. Really want to get more points towards the mastery. Can't wait to get this guy at level 7 hit people with a nice shiny emblem um but all right uh gg well played and i will see you in the next commentary peace